Afro Kenya lineup: Dorin Remor, Camille Nawal, Rachel Ladiambo, Linda Nandwa, Philadelphia Orlando, Celeste Navalayo, Janet Owino, Catherine Avila, Janet Okello, Mary Otieno, Irene Owino, and Mary Musieka. Team coach: Kevin Wambua. Sword Money Angeles, Sahon Dralamala, Nomen Janahari, Rahari Nirira, Sinjo Natiora, Ravaori Mananana, Sylvie Odete, Rakoto, Rison Fela Nian, Fela Niania, Rania, Rajona, Rajana, Ravolo Lolo, Harijana, Bodo, Raso Rimanana, Lidie, Raso Rimalala, Claudie, Rasafari Osia, Maria Sopi, Raso Nenekane, Veronique, and the captain of the team, Faraosa Tatli, and the coaches, Rari, Rari, Sion, Eric. Madagascar emphatic winners against Senegal in the first game of this year's event. Coming in to play the second game against Kenya, who finished uh, third at the last edition, played in Tunisia last year. Starters of will be Madagascar in the whole white strip, on your screen playing from left to right against Kenyans in the red strip. The crowd in Machakos definitely getting rearing up to go to support the local girls. Remember, Madagascar won their first game just 15 minutes ago when they beat uh, uh, Senegal by 19 points to 14. So, Sene uh, so Madagascar kicking us off here against the Kenyan girls. Remember, Kenya took part of the Hong Kong Invitational Sevens tournament, so they got, they've got a bit of experience and uh, a bit of exposure playing in this tournament. What can they do? And it's Senegal, and it's Madagascar, sorry, who on the attack. Very fleet-footed. Nice cover tackle there by Ari Notieno. Madagascar sounding the intentions of uh, not looking like they're overrun by the home girls. And all the possession from the kickoff, they still retain the ball, but the referee seems to have adjudged a knock-on in there. And the ball will be called back for a scrum down. Yeah, Madagascar looking to continue at the left off against Senegal. Off to a very good start, but the Kenyan defense holding firm a bit, and uh, it's going to be a Kenyan feat to the scrum. First half play of the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament, the home team, the Kenyan Lionesses, facing Madagascar here at the Machako Stadium. Lucky Kenya number nine, Arino Tieno, being preferred at the sweeper position. She's previously played as a winger, and she's got some very blistering pace to burn. Interesting, also a very uh, good soccer player. She used to play for Makolandas. Oh, yes, yes, a very good soccer player. And it's a penalty for Kenya. Madagascar being penalized. What can Kenya do with this ball? There's that lady, Irene Ochen. I told you about her. She's got some speed to burn. Taking in four defenders to stop her. Turns on, and Madagascar have actually drawn in place. Kenya have a lot of numbers out in there. They need to run up and meet the ball. Doreen Remor with the ball, passing it out. They've got extra men out in there, and Madagascar look like they're nine problems. Kenya literally building up a lot of confidence from the crowd that's supporting, but that's a knock-on right there. And the ball has Smack gone out, in by between the, the halfway line. Smack at the halfway line. Very, very promising play there by Kenya, by the way. Irene Otieno uh, playing at the super role, drawing defenders, the sidestep, and the shimmy here, causing all manner of problems to the Madagascans or the Malagasy side. And uh, it's going to be a Malagasy line-out, or oh, Madagascar line-out. Remember, remember Madagascar won their first game by 19 points to 14 against Senegal. This is Kenya's first game of the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament. What can they do in this opening game? That looks like the ball was actually smacked. I'd have expected the referee to call for a penalty. <laughs> but well, uh, referee's uh, decision is final, so I'll let that ride. What can Kenya do from this set piece? Irene Ochenio recovering the ball quite well, passing the ball out. Doreen Remor covers that to Celtic. Doreen Remor, she's running across and if she'd straighten it a bit earlier, perhaps at this pace, but it could appear, yes. It appear that Janet Okello has beaten her markers and Kenya look like they're on course to score their first run. They do. Janet Okello drawing first blood for Kenya. Kenya five, Madagascar zero. Brilliant try, but as you're saying, I agree with you, Hillary. Doreen Remor looked like she was running <laughs> across instead of straight. And uh, at some point, I thought the move was actually going to break down, but very good piece of play there by Janet Otieno. Elusive kind of play, very well taken on the wing, beats two defenders, and she scores at the center. And it's a conversion to come here from uh, Captain Dorin Captain Remore. Dorin Remore. And she puts the conversion in, and it's 7 0. 
one out of ten times in rugby, you'll always get away with running across. And I think that was the one out of the ten times. <laughs> they need to change the running lines now. Yeah, they, they, they need to change the running lines because if they meet a smarter team, uh, they will be boxed and tackled out. So, Kenya, in the lead by seven points to nil and kicking into the Malagasy half. Captain Donnie Moore elects to kick deep. Um, perhaps a good start because the, uh, the Malagasy players have shown great running ability and ball passing. Perhaps keeping them in their area will, uh, will break them up and uh, allow Kenya to turn the ball. And it looks like that has actually happened, as per the script expected. Kenyans quickly getting the ball up, but the Madagascan defense doing very well, shadowing the Kenyan player and um, almost getting the ball popping out of the rack. Irene Oteno does well to recover the ball, spreads out to Celestine Masinde, who has not had a run yet in this game. Oh, yeah. oh. And Celestine Masinde on her first run makes me keep quiet. <laughs> Brilliant. Try. Once again, some missed tackles there from Madagascar. She, she saw the, the gap there, and that was a missed tackle oh, from sure. Madagascar, and the score stands now at 12 points to nil. Celestine Masinde, former captain of the Kenyan Lionesses team, having been the team also for about eight years, a great servant of the sport, um, scoring her first try in this year's event and extending Kenya's lead in this particular game, 12 points to zero. Conversion wide, scores remain at 12 points, Kenya, Madagascar, zero. I wouldn't really 12, probably knock off Madagascar, Madagascar this game. zero. Kenya, 12, they also Madagascar, down 12 points to zero in the zero. first half, but managed to the game 19 points to 14. Yes. So I don't think they're down and out yet. It, yeah, I mean, they're still very much like in this game. I, I, I just think... The Kenyan side has done a very good job in denying them possession and uh, punishing them, I think, in the area of contact. And it's now Madagascar on the attack, and they decide to kick the ball into the Kenyan side. But once again, here comes Irino Tieno. Manages to step on one, knocks off one, throws in another two players, and the Madagascar players are getting excitable. They're actually pulling all their players into the, the rack and allowing Kenya to run around. Darren Remor runs across again, pops a ball, to Janet, we know who scored the first try, decides to decides to actually hold off. And you can see the number of Navaragasan players. They said one, two, three, four, five, the only two on this other side. Yeah, they're kind of playing with so much confidence and uh, so much width. They are Irino Tieno electing to take the route one approach. Pops the ball to Celestine. Celestine draws in another two players and nice pop nice pass in pop there. Pass. Oh, brilliant play there from Kenya. That's a third try. Kenya leading by 70 points to nil, and once again, some beautiful piece of play. The support play from the Kenyans is so encouraging. They're supporting each other. You're not seeing one player running all the way 60 meters. There's, there's, there's always a player on your, on, your, on your shoulder to support you and to complete the move. The Kenyans clearly showing the experience at this level, um, drawing in the Madagascar defenders who are caught in sixes and sevens, and I think they need to go around and ask themselves uh, what happened to the philosophy of 1-1-1 tackle because it looks like it takes about average two to three Madagascan players to stop a rampage in Kenyan play and that's where the gaps are popping up. Yes, absolutely. The Madagascans look all, I mean, they, they, they seem to be in sixes and sevens so far. They seem tired and uh, okay, I think the defensive yeah. pattern and alignment is not zero. well structured. So after Kenya with a 17 to 19, zero lead here at the halftime interval on, at the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament here in Machakos. As the second half kicks off. And we are about to start the second half. Kenya leading by Madagascar by 17 points to nil. Kenya looked every bit there as the home side. Fantastic to watch. Very good ball handling, very good support play. The Madagascans just look to be out of their feet, out of their depth so far. And uh, the Kenyans kick off again. Dorian Remor with the kick off. Madagascar now. Can they, can they get a piece of this ball and try and build up phases of play? And uh, the, the Kenyan team has been punished there for, for an infringement of the rack. And for the first time, we'll see what the Malagas, what the Malagas side can do with this ball. 
that the Fijians of Africa, but once again, the ball has been stolen there by the Kenyans. Good play there by Erin Okello, by the way. And once again, Madagascar are punished for an infringement at the rack. Janet Okello. Janet Okello. Shimiz gives it to Celestine. And once again, the Kenya team on the attack, on the ascendancy. And that will be another try. Is it given? Oh, no, it is not. But still, the try comes in here. The try comes in. Try time and once Dorian Remore scores. Score so the score stands now at 22 four. points to nil. Kenya look home and dry in this game. Kenya look home and dry. Good support play there from Kenya. And it's 22 points to zero with the conversion to come. Playing with so much confidence. The Kenyan side. Madagascar seem to be out on their feet so far. And the conversion. No, it's missed. So Kenya leading by 22, po 22 points to nil here at the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament here in Machakos, Kenya. For those of you who are joining us, this is match number three, Kenya versus Madagascar. Kenya with a very impressive start, leading by 22 points to nil, their first game. Madagascar, this is their second game, and maybe it's telling that uh, they, seem, they, they look a little bit jaded and tired. But Kenya's kick from the kickoff hasn't gone the full 10 meters. What can Madagascar do? What can Madagascar do? Can they get a try here? Can they get a try here? Rafa Riziosa, Mari Sofi, taking the ball there. But the Kenyan defense holding it up. on the attack. Kenya leading by 22 points to nil in the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament. Seventh category for the... Oh, and what a gap. A gap was open there. He she is away. Away. She has played this game at this level for the last eight years. They've been showing experience in there, slicing through. Score, it was like a hot knife through butter. Kenya extend the lead. 27 points to nil, and once again the gaps 29. opening up in the Malagasy side. And the Malagasy said, I think the first game took the stuffing out of them. Because they, they led trails and they led at the final whistle, but they look a pale shadow of the team that played Senegal a few minutes ago. Kenya in the ascendancy, leading by 29 points to zero. Conversion good. Taking the scores to Kenya 31. Madagascar, zero. in Machakos, taking toll on the Indian Ocean Islanders. Because Madagascar is actually an island, so perhaps a case of the altitude in Machakos affecting the players? I, I guess so, it may be that. They barely had the ball, the position, the big that position by the Kenya side. Great skill there being shot by Lidi Raso Ramanana. Meeting three of players, popping the ball out to Lidi Odorama Karina. They are backing him. That was a brilliant move, by the way, and a brilliant sidestep from Madagascar. Good cut back. Good sidestep, and Madagascar gets some points with the board. Obviously, you're giving some bit of uh, concerning moments to the Senegalese defense, and she's come on through to score a solo try against Kenya right there. Yeah, 
after a torrid performance by the, I mean, from the Kenyan side, the Malagascan, 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 it's the Confederation of African Rugby Tournament 2014. Kenya versus Madagascar. And this is going to be a Kenya ball, but the ball will go out. And uh, the clock should be winding down, and it's a quick line out from the Kenyan side. In comes in Mary Musika, another old uh, workhorse for this team, coming in for Irino Tenu, who deservedly takes a rest. And Kamilina Ward gets the ball, knocks out the first Madagascar defender. Kamilina Ward does not shy away from the contact. And the Madagascans look like they have decided to reduce the number of players getting into the breakdown situations, give them a better chance to spread on out and toward the Kenyan attack. Mary Musieka with the ball. Musieka keeps it. Looks like a high tackle in there. Referee playing advantage. Mary Musieka draws in two defenders. The ball doesn't come out on the Kenyan side, I'm certain. Yes, and he does. The referee blows for the penalty advantage. That was a high tackle on Mary Musieka, who picks the ball and continues. Kenya leading by 29 points to 7. Kenyans electing to do the, the wise thing, to kill off the pressure, electing to go for the line out deep within the, Madaga, the Malagasy territory. Absolutely. Uh, the Madagascans have played well in bits and pieces so far. Haven't had possession, they've been denied possession by this rampaging Kenyan outfit who took part in the Hong Kong Invitational Tournament. And uh, this, is, this is surely going to be the last piece of play in this game. Kenya 29, Madagascar 7. Mary Musieka with the ball, ready to throw in the lineout in out, uh, what looks like out, uh, is the last move of the game. Musieka gets the ball and Kenya elect to attack. I would have expected them to kick out because they have some tough games remaining against Senegal and South Africa. And uh, they seem to give Madagascar with a, an opportunity for Madagascar to finish a game in more respectable scores and try good for Madagascar. Totally dreadful there. Lidi Rasuari Manana scores a try from nothing for Madagascar. Yes, absolutely from try nothing. That was not expected. Madagascar. I agree with you, uh, uh, Hillary. They, they should have kicked the ball out. But well, a win, a win, a win is still a win all the same. And Kenya beating Madagascar by 29 points to 14. A very encouraging start for the home side, for the Kenya Lionesses. Before facing uh, excellent opening performance for the host team coming up next. Before facing um, uh, before facing Senegal <laughs> and South Africa in the two remaining games. Our next game is uh, Uganda versus Namibia.